Hi everyone, my name is Jasmine Dilhu. I'm an instructor here at the Bemis School of Art. Today I'm going to show you a quick little fun thing you can do with the kids at home. It's a nice little craft that's really cheap and easy. We are doing potato printing. So just like you carve a block to do a traditional print, we're carving potatoes. They're cheap, they're easy, you probably have some old ones rotting in the bottom of your fridge, so that would be the time to put them to use. For these, I cut a slice that makes a nice stamp size, something about the hand, and then I used a pointed spoon, or you can use a bottle opener, or a butter knife even, and just scrape away to get a nice little pattern. Kind of the way you would a block. This is easy for the kids though, because no sharp tools involved, really easy, really cheap, and they can kind of go ham because it's potatoes. So here I've just made a silly little smiley face into my block, cutting it away. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're just playing. Make a little print out of it, something that's semi-deep, so enough that the ink doesn't go all the way into the crevices here. And then you can use block printing ink to fill it up, or some cheap black acrylic paint from the grocery store. Doesn't have to be expensive, doesn't have to be crazy. Lightly brush it on top, making sure not to fill the holes where you've carved away, because those are things that you want to remain white on the paper. So make sure you're just lightly coating it. If you have a really intense pattern, it's gonna take a little bit more paint, a little bit more time. Just be careful not to fill the wrong spots with paint. So I coated it, lightly brushed my stamp. I'm just gonna press it against the paper. Light pressure, not mashing it all the way, and making sure you're not going so light that the ink can't transfer. Don't push all the way through because you don't want to smush it or let any of the juices that are in the potato out. Just enough pressure to get that ink to transfer. So here's my little smiley face man. Clearly you're not going to get the most distinct patterns, not too much detail out of it, but it's really fun for the kids. You can play with different patterns. Here I've made some squiggles to make a stamp. You can try swirls or hearts, simple little things that the kids will love. Remember not to focus on perfection with a potato print, focus on having fun. Find other objects at home that you can play with, things in the fridge that you can cut apart. Fruits and vegetables make amazing natural printing products. Have some fun, explore, try a couple new techniques, and we'll see you in the classroom soon.